Hello, my name is Nikita Gripnev, and today we'll be covering the fourth assignment in the Social Data Mining Techniques course. This assignment consists of a Microsoft Azure training exercise involving an image classifier called Custom Vision. In it, I need to create a project, upload tag the images, train the model, and test it. Since this image classifier is generalist and isn't designed to detect anything specific, when creating a project, it allows the user to choose from a few narrower categories, depending on what model the user wants to create. These include food, landmarks, retail, and others. And when I started making it, at this point I already knew that I want to create a model that would be able to recognize a city, so I chose one. A lot of the cities are most recognized by the skyline. San Francisco is famous for its bridge, among other things, and Seattle by the Space Needle. However, not every city has a distinct feature that can be easily picked up and that would define the city's view. I was curious how well this service will be able to recognize a city and differentiate between them. However, to make sure that the tags are going to be applied to the city's outline composed out of its buildings and not to the unrelated features, I also added tags for the time when the image was taken and whether the photograph contains a large body of water, so that the model doesn't associate specific time of day and just water with a specific city, and rather associate it with a separate tag. I ended up having 10 tags total, 5 for the cities, 3 for the time of day, and 2 for appearance of lakeshore in the picture. From the two models of training that Custom Vision offers, I chose Quick because it's sufficient for the purpose of this assignment. But the advanced one can be used for models that require higher precision. This one simply isn't one of them. I used a tiny dataset and just 10 tags, so no advanced training is needed. The result of the training is promising. The precision, indicating how likely the right tag is being recognized, is at 72.7%. The recall amount of tags in the model that, that was found is at 61.1%, and average performance test of all tags concluded at 75.6%. Now we can do some testing. Even with a short training, the model was able to recognize Vancouver at 59.4% accuracy. Same goes for Toronto at 69.4%. Same goes for Calgary at 83.2%. Halifax was recognized at 50.5%. Apparently, Montreal isn't as recognizable, and the model could only recognize it at 44.9%. Now, let's, let me test for non Canadian cities. First, I want to see what cities this model found resembling to Beijing in China, Moscow in Russia. Sydney in Australia, and finally San Francisco in New York in USA. 
For this, I will go over the predictions the model has already made, make them correctly, and then run the training again and check it on new sites, CGs. As we can see, with new images the precision grew. Now the precision is at 92.3%, the recall is at 77.4% and the average prediction is at 92.8%. Much better than the last time. Now, let me test non-Canadian cities. First, I want to see what cities this model recognizes as Beijing in China, Moscow in Russia, Sydney in Australia, and finally San Francisco and New York in USA. Of course, this model wasn't trained on these pictures, but I wanted it to, uh, but I wanted to see which Canadian cities, uh, the, from the perspective of this model, are most resemblant to those cities. Let's see. First, let's go with Beijing in China. So, the model was able to correctly recognize that there is no shore, no body of water, that the picture was taken during the day or the evening. And for the city, um, the model thinks that it's most resembled to Toronto and Calgary. For Moscow? For Moscow, the model says that there is a shore, but Probably it mistaken a river for it. The picture was taken during the evening, so that's correct. Uh, the model is a little contemplating. It's either shore or no shore, and yes, there is no shore. There is no large body of water near Moscow. And for the cities, uh, Moscow was recognized as Montreal, Toronto, Calgary, or Vancouver. So it's all over the place, but mostly as Montreal. Let's go with New York. New York, yes, the picture was taken during the day, and yes, there is a large body of water. And at 61.6%, this model recognizes New York as Toronto, probably because of this, this large building in the middle that resembles the CN Tower in Toronto. San Francisco? Yes, there is a large body of water. The picture was taken during the evening, and again, model recognized it as Toronto. Probably again from this long building right here. Or maybe from the bridge that would uh, resemble the CN Tower. Now for the Sydney. Well, because of the island in the picture, the model didn't recognize the shore. It recognized that the picture was taken during the day, and it thinks that Sydney looks like Calgary at 69%. Very nice. So, as you can see, this model isn't very precise. It is precise at recognizing Canadian cities, but in cities from different countries, it recognizes some buildings as the one that most resemble those cities it already knows. So maybe with a large dataset, it can be made more precise, and maybe it can, from datasets from different countries, it will start recognizing the architecture of these different places. This is Nikita Grebnev, signing off on assignment four. Thank you and take care.